Maybe you can take me for a test drive one day. Winky face, little car. Damn. Ride me, fam. What the f***? That's not like subtle. <laughs> I feel like I know nothing now after I've watched this. Hey guys, welcome to... Maybe give me a chance you want to see any other babes? Yes first. I mean, yes first. Today, I'm not reacting to anything anybody wanted to see, but oh, here we are. I need to learn how to date. It's funny because it's true. I don't know how to human. I don't know how to be around people sometimes. I don't know how to be normal. I'm one of those people who puts their foot in their mouth all the time. You know, I'm bad at dating. I'm bad. I don't even do it anymore. That's how bad I am. It's like, why are you setting yourself up for a failure, bitch? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, relatable, right? We relating. Hopefully we're relating because I don't wanna be the only one who just sucks balls. Also, I have trust issues. <laughs> so today we getting some dating tips from this lovely lady right here. I don't know what's going on, but I do know that she has an Australian accent or possibly New Zealand. I don't know. It's like an American Canadian thing. I can't tell the fucking difference. New Zealand is uh, the Canada to Australia, right? Like France is the Canada to England. <laughs> National banter, yes, maybe? I don't know. Okay, anyway, get back on track, Monica. Today, we're gonna learn, oh, what's the title of this fucking video? Seven signs a girl likes you. I'm sure I can, oh. Uh, I'm mm. Is this a coming out video? Pfft, no. <laughs> I would never exploit my sexuality for views on the internet. <laughs> anyway. Seven signs a girl likes you. Okay, we need to learn how to not be a weeb. I also don't know how to flirt and I don't know how to recognize when someone's flirting with me. <laughs> I, I just assume that they're joking. <laughs> Why would you flirt with me? You must be joking. Are you, is there a camera? Is this stand up? What is happening? <laughs> so I'm gonna hopefully learn how to recognize. <laughs> I need to, I need to like read a book on body language or some shit. I don't know. If a girl is into you, you want to be able to recognize that straight away because- The fuck was that? Hold on. She looks like she's like paranoid. If I see a woman being like, I'd be like, oh, she thinks I'm stalking her. Cause uh, you look concerned rather than intrigued by me. And then she does like a spin, like she's on a fucking catwalk. Sorry, but we don't walk like that, do we? Do we? See, I don't know. Dead ass though. Straight away. Dead spin. <laughs> okay, fuck it, just watch. Gives you a chance to actually act on it and maximize your opportunity with her. Basically, you snooze, you lose. I'm Renee Slansky for the Attractive Man Team. And if you want to- Attractive Man Team? Yes. Make me an attractive man. Wait, what's her name? Renee. Teach me how to be an attractive man, Renee. Also, um, if you want to act on your emotions, you need to be able to recognize them first. So could you help me with that too? <laughs> I may have emotional issues. <laughs> and if you want to know the seven oh, indications shit. that she really likes you, mm -hmm. then stick with me because I'm not only going to tell you, I'm also going to show you. Okay. Wing girl wisdom. Was that like wing man? It's my job as a dating and relationship coach to help you come across as the most confident and desirable man that you can possibly be. Now Okay, I want to be a desirable and confident man. Also, dating and relationship coach, is that like a life coach? Is that one of those things? I always thought those were like weird career choices, but that face I've paused it on, I love it. Okay, but first of all, Renee, am I going to have to start like brushing my hair before I start recording YouTube videos? Because I don't know if I'm down for that. I'm down for a breakdown. To help you come across as the most confident and desirable man that you can possibly be. Yes, I'm just I'm going ready. to say this, guys. If you know if a girl really likes you, what it does is it gives you confident and desirable. What the fuck was that? Is she okay? Guys. Is that... Is what? Okay. To me, she looks like she's just seen a flasher. Like someone just jumped out of the bush and whipped the dick out. And she's like, oh, because <sighs> what? That's not the face of, oh my God, you're hot. Is it? Is it? Is that bad acting? Or am I just, again, not able to recognize flirting? flirtatiousness if you know if a girl really likes you what it does is That's it gives scary. you the upper hand it means that you can control and lead the date in the way that you want it to go as well as also tap into what is going to make her want you more and emotionally attach herself to you 
Um, can we not just wing the date? Like, do I really want to be in control? <laughs> I'm a self-sabotager. You shouldn't trust me to control anything, let alone a relationship. <laughs> So here are the seven signs that she is into you. Number All right, seven, let's she do finds it. a reason to be close to you or touch you in some way. <sighs> Basically, when a girl is into you, she wants to make some sort of physical contact with you as soon as possible. This means that she might move a little bit closer to you and try and brush her leg against yours. Um, I don't go out and meet people in the real world, so <laughs> I mean, I meet people on the internet, but you can't touch me. Do you want to touch me? Who would want to touch me? <laughs> um, this sign is no good for me. This might be something simply as fixing your collar or brushing something off your shoulder or maybe even ruffling your hair. Don't touch my fucking hair. Way, I didn't brush it. It's not a mess. I mean, if you can't mess it up. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Women don't do that to other women. And men don't do that to women because don't fucking mess a woman's hair up. <laughs> You don't know how long she spent on that. You never know. Oh, this is not applying to me in any way. Oh, no. Number six, she laughs and smiles a lot. The best indication if a girl is really into you is that it is evident that she feels joyful in your company. Um, yes. Okay, I get it. But, um, what if you're just genuinely a funny person? I mean, I'm not saying that I am, but like, I laugh at people's jokes and I smile. Do doesn't mean I want to date them. <laughs> if someone tells a really shitty joke and a woman laughs at it, I would assume that, yeah, she's into you. Like, if it's an objectively bad joke and they still laugh at it, then yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe she's just, <laughs> maybe she has brain damage. <laughs> oh, why would I, oh, see, I assume, I just assume there's something wrong with you if you're into me. God. Oh, God, Monica, why? Oh, see, why? Brush your fucking hair. <sighs> Make an effort. <laughs> this means that she is laughing at what it is that you're saying and she's really smiling and engaging in every way that she can to communicate that she actually really enjoys being with you. Okay. On the contrary, if a girl isn't into you, she will smile but she won't be showing any teeth and she won't be having any of those sort of smiley eyes and she'll probably be fidgeting with something, not because she's nervous but actually because she's bored and she can't wait to get out of it. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that was helpful. I think, I think, oh, she sends flirty text messages. And one of the simplest ways to work out if a girl is actually into you is by what she texts you and if she actually adds little emojis. Now, a classic example could be something okay. as simple as, hey, I saw this picture and it made me think of you, winky face. And it's a picture of Mark Wahlberg in his underwear. Somebody sent me that. I'd be very confused. <laughs> also... I would never send that to someone, anyone. Like, uh, <laughs> why would, uh, that's not, is that flirting? Is it? If I sent that to a guy, or if I sent a picture of, like, just taking a picture of a, a Victoria supermodel and was like, saw this and thought of you. No, I wasn't. I'm lying. <laughs> I was not thinking of you when I was looking at her. Isn't, is that not rude as fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know. See, and I'm, I don't know if I'm confused. Oh, I'm confused. Oh, no. I don't know how to do this. It's not a okay, Monica, just, I don't know if this is good advice or bad advice. I really don't. You're gonna have to let me know in the comments. <laughs> Tell me if this is bad or good, because I don't know. I really, truly don't. I need to interact with humans more clearly. Shit. Oh. Maybe you can take me for a test drive one day. Winky face, little car. Damn. Ride me, fam. What the fuck? That's not, like, subtle. <laughs> well, well, let's just say that right now you're in my good books and it looks like you've just earned extra 10 brownie points. Okay. I mean, if somebody's... See, this is... Okay. If I received that last text message and someone sent me a love heart with the, with the emoji eyes with the love hearts, I would somehow in my mind convince myself that that's not flirting. You know, I'd be like, maybe they picked the wrong emoji. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's just like they're really thankful. <laughs> I don't assume that they're into me. <laughs> God, you have to fucking spell it out for me. Just put it in a fucking sky. Just like... <laughs> Rent a plane and be like, bitch, I'm into you. <laughs> or just say words. Just say the words rather than <laughs> sending me winky faces. 
I don't know what that means. So she will be responding to your messages instantly or pretty much within a short time frame. I'm so bad at responding to my messages. I don't even realize I have them sometimes until like a month, a month after I receive them. Oh, uh, I always have, I always have. Do not disturb switch down because do not disturb me, beach. <laughs> if a girl isn't into you, then chances are her responses will be really far in between. They will be short. They'll be really far in between. What does that mean? Oh, she's speaking Australian. I don't understand. English, bitch. Do you do it? <laughs> now, if a girl isn't into you, then chances are her responses will be really far in between. I suppose I do ask a lot of questions when I like someone. Because I want to ask, like, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Should I like you? Am I wasting my time liking you? I'm very much, I don't want to talk. I'll just listen to you. That's, uh, mm-hmm. Because the less I say, the less likely I am. To say something stupid. Because, <laughs> I mean, I don't like the taste of my own feet, but I constantly put my foot in my mouth, so... <laughs> ...be really far in between. They will be short, they will be cold, and there will be no emojis. All right! Don't forget to subscribe! Well, we'll see about that. Number four, she gets nervous when she is around you. It is a really obvious sign if a girl likes you because she is nervous and she has all this extra energy... I am always nervous. Am I extra nervous around people I'm into? I, mm, no. <laughs> I'm always nervous and I'm always kind of self-conscious. Just mainly, I don't know. I hate myself. <laughs> I think that's my problem. I hate myself. I hate myself. I hate my body. I hate my hurt. I hate it. <laughs> I hate everything. But I don't know. If people are nervous around me, I just assume that they're a nervous person. I've never really seen it as a sign of anything else. <laughs> So most of the time she ends up blushing, she speaks too fast, she has sweaty palms, maybe she tears the serviette up because she just doesn't know what to do with her hands. Isn't that just a sign of sexual frustration? <laughs> well, he was tearing up surface, napkins. Like, do you I think there was something wrong with you. Your sweaty ass palms? Be like, do you have a bomb or something? <laughs> Why are you so nervous? I mean, nervousness is cute. Just a little, like a little bit of nervousness. It's expected, when, right? When you meet new people in general, I, I, I'm nervous. Whether I like them or not, I'm nervous. <laughs> like, I just think it's sweet when people get nervous, but I've never really seen it as... Oh, they're into me. Oh, they're into someone around them. I've always just thought, oh, they just must, must be a nervous person. That's cute. Oh, bless. You know. Or if you're like me, she knocks things over. You mean she's clumsy? Oh my God. I'm clumsy. I'm just clumsy. If I take this advice, I'm going to go around thinking everybody's into me now. <laughs> Either way, this is a perfect time for you to step up and be a real gentleman and put her fears to rest. I forgot this is advice for men. <laughs> Homophobic! When she says be a real gentleman, I'm assuming she's just saying being a considerate person. And put her fears to rest. Now you can do this simply by drawing her into your big strong arms or maybe taking her hand and just making her feel at ease and peace. What it does is it shows that you're actually responsive, that you are able to take control and it also comes across really kind of romantic and let's just say chivalrous. Okay, I think that's good advice, right? I mean, I mean, if I was on a date with someone and they knocked over a glass of water or some wine or whatever, I wouldn't just run over and put my arm around them. That's a bit weird, but yeah, okay. I get it. I'd address it. I'd be like, that's okay. You don't have to be so nervous. Have a napkin, bitch. Uh, <laughs> and yes, I'm calling you a bitch. Because <laughs> again, I think it's kind of sweet. But I never really thought, unless you're on a date, I've never thought that it's a sign of anything. <laughs> I feel like I know nothing now after I've watched this. Number three, she introduces you to her friends. Mm, that's a big step. <laughs> I'm just going to be totally honest, guys. When we really like a guy, the first thing we do is we go and tell our five best friends, our dog, our neighbor, our school teacher, and any other person that we really want to. Why? Because you are on our mind and we can't stop thinking about you. Hmm. So that means that she'll actually want you to meet the people that she cares about as soon as possible. And it is really important that you set the right impression with them. Why? Because as soon as you leave, they are going to influence her decision on whether or not she can continue to see you yeah that's a thing <laughs> i i often wonder if guys are really aware of that when i say guys i mean men are you aware that our friends all the girlfriends are telling us 
whether or not we should continue to date you after they meet you. Because <laughs> it's a big deal. I'd be nervous. I'd be shook. I'd be like, okay, well, let's do it. I'm, I'd be I'd be really nervous because I know it's important. <laughs> so how do you impress her friends? I don't know. <laughs> without coming across as kind of sleazy or trying too hard. It is really simple. All you need to do is be well-mannered and show that you are able to value each and every person there. Now, it doesn't okay, mean that simple. you have to like them because chances are you probably won't like all of them. But if you yeah. can show her and her friends that you're able to respect everyone, then it is going to leave them swooning. And Another good way to really come across as a great Hopefully. guy is simply to remember their name. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm so bad with names and faces. I'm just terrible. Bad memory. But I do try. I really do try. Now, if you're someone like me and you really struggle to remember people's names, then what you need to do is you need to pick out an article of clothing or a feature about them and then associate their name with them. Yeah, you need a good mnemonic. The crazier, the easier it is to remember. For example... Jack with the red shoes, Brittany with the blue scarf. It's going to help you remember their name. Jack with the red shoes. How how does the name Jack and red shoes connect? I mean, you know, if it's like, oh, Percy, he had a man purse. He's the guy with the man purse. It's Percy. <laughs> that That's what I was thinking. Jack with the red shoes. It's going to help you remember their name when you see their face because you'll think she's wearing a blue scarf. It's Brittany. What if she's not wearing the blue scarf again? I mean, women change their clothes every five seconds. <laughs> is yes, you want to indicate that you care about who she cares about, but you want to make sure that you're not flirting with them and you want to make sure that you aren't giving them too much attention, that that girl that you like is mainly your sole focus of attention. Okay. Again, I don't know when people are flirting with me and I don't know how to flirt. This has led to people thinking that I'm flirting with people and now I'm a bit paranoid about it. Like for real, I used to have a really good friend who, <sighs> we're not that great friend. Well, I mean, we're, we're still friends, but we don't hang out as much as we used to because her girlfriend accused me of flirting with her. And it's like, nah, we best friends. Like we're just close friends. But now, now we're not, <laughs> now we're not. Which is a real shame. <laughs> um, but whatever. So now I get a little paranoid. And there was this one time I was I was literally, literally talking about the Greek economy with this guy. And my friend comes over because she knows him and she knows me. And she's like, Monica, you need to stop leading him on. Bitch, what? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm not doing anything wrong, am I? God, no wonder I never leave the fucking house. <laughs> is this why I just don't talk to people anymore? I'm afraid. I don't know. I don't know how to flirt. I don't know when people are flirting with me. I just don't want to open my mouth. Oh my God. Imagine that. <laughs> but you want to make sure that you're not flirting with them and you want to make sure. What does that tell me how to flirt? Renee. Re was that a name? Renee. How do I know when someone's flirting with me? How do I know when I'm flirting with someone? <laughs> That's a good question. Tell me how I know when I'm flirting with someone. That would be super fucking helpful sure that you aren't giving them too much attention that that girl that you like is mainly your sole focus of attention so the best way to do that is to simply treat them as your mates number two she is trying to impress you if a girl is into you she is basically wanting to try and win you over as well and she'll do this sometimes really obviously or subtly for example she might put in a little bit of extra effort with her appearance or she might remember something that you said and then she's actually gone out and made that happen for example you might have offhandedly said i love red m&ms and then she's literally gone out bought a packet sorted all the colors taken out the blues the browns the yellows the greens and just bought you the red one no one has ever done that for me that is super sweet <laughs> yeah i can imagine someone doing that i could imagine doing that for someone as well i just really like fucking orange smarties but guess what beach they sell orange smarties in a bag so i don't need to pick them all out unless you really want me to i will totally do that for you i would do that for my love for the love of my life i would pick out a fucking out of a million m&ms i get you all the orange ones you wanted bitch i'd still call you a bitch though <laughs> like there you go bitch i got you your orange smarties i don't ugh, i'm stuck oh shit um so what was this overall number of this one? Oh yes, trying to impress you. Dressing to impress is just something some women do though, right? Like they just want to look good and feel good for themselves. I mean, some of my friends say that's why they put on makeup sometimes. They just want to feel good, you know, they, they ain't looking for attention. I believe them, I guess. Because I'm not the type of person who puts on a lot of makeup or dresses up too much.
because I just don't want to. I do scrub up well, but I'd rather not. <laughs> and just bought you the red ones. Either way, this woman really wants to communicate that she values you and that she's interested in your life. Oh, that's sweet. I do like the little things. They, they do stand out. I don't, like, I wouldn't consider it, fl well, maybe it is a signal that someone likes you. Okay, I mean, I kind of already knew this. If someone went out of their way to do something nice, just like nice, like, oh, that's sweet. You picked out all the fucking, all of the orange fruit pastels for me bitch. I wouldn't know what to do with that information. <laughs> I'd be like, thanks. That was really sweet. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to go and eat my fucking fruit pastels now. Want to eat some fruit pastels with me? Want to fruit pastels and chill? We can do that. This is a perfect example of how to tell if a woman actually likes you. What you can do really? is as you're flirting and teasing, move in for the kiss, but don't actually do the kiss. Allow just enough room for her to be able to move in and have that kiss if she wants to seal the deal. Oh. Oh, I have questions. <laughs> That's crazy. Is that not crazy? So what you're saying is you just get closer. I mean, okay. Like if I just suddenly started getting closer. Uh, I, I'm so shook because I just had a flashback when she gave, when she gave this advice, I had a flashback. <laughs> the last time a woman tried to kiss me, I just thought they were being unbalanced, like literally just unbalanced and a little drunk. They were doing this. <laughs> so long story short, this person was a little drunk and they just, we were standing outside this bar just talking. We were friends. We've been friends for like two years. It, the friend zone is not just for men. That's all I'm saying. We were just talking and laughing. And then all of a sudden her face went real serious and she just got real close. And I just backed off because I thought she was like just falling. <laughs> I thought there was something wrong with her. Okay, this is not good advice. I'm sure of it. Maybe I just didn't recognize the fact that she wanted to make out with me. Either way, I did not want to make out with her. I just thought that she was falling forward. Oh, wow. Fucking hell. It wasn't until like a year later, one of my friends was like, you do know she's into you, right? No. They're like, oh, she's been flirting with you for a long time. And I'm like, has she? I didn't even notice. Move in for the kiss, but don't actually do the kiss. Allow yeah, no, just stir at them really intensely so they think that you, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> Allow just enough room for her to be able to move in and have that kiss if she wants to seal the deal. It's almost <laughs> the 90-10 rule where you do 90% of the work, but then you leave that 10% as an opportunity for her to either step up and kiss you or step back. And if she steps back, then clearly she's not into you. What if she just doesn't realize what you're doing? What if she just thinks you're unbalanced? So what you need to do is this. You need to lock eyes with her. You need to lean in just enough to see her close her eyes, tilt her head back, feel the breath of her on your face, and then stop. Then, if she really is into you, she will continue the kiss the rest of the way. This See, now... <laughs> I keep flashing back to that moment. It's like I just relive it now all the time. <laughs> How can you be so oblivious, Monica? <laughs> oh shit, I forgot all about that moment. I really did. See, but <laughs> this is a good example, right? Because he goes right in and then stops right there. That's obvious. That's so obvious. But if you stop when you're well, like you this far this. away you and you're not really leaning with your upper body, you're just doing it with your whole body. I'm assuming you're falling like a tree. <laughs> I'm going to step back. I'm not going to try and catch you. Oh, guys, you don't always have to be the first one to initiate what it is that you want to happen in the day. Sometimes leaving things halfway gives her an opportunity to step up and meet you at that point. It also means you can work out if this girl really likes you or if she's just using you and playing you, which by the way, we've actually done a video on. Now guys, if you need a little bit of help in right. escalating the date in the way that you want it to go because you don't have the confidence, then I want you to download our free escalation cheat Okay, you. well, right, guys, that's it for download the cheat treat, get laid, I guess. I don't know, be in a relationship, I mean. Oh my God, I feel worse after watching this. I'm not joking, I feel worse. <laughs>
Oh shit. I think I need to watch more of these videos, but more just general advice rather than dating advice for men. Oh, this is just a bad idea. <laughs> a bad idea. Oh, Renee. I really don't know if all of this was good advice. Some of it seemed legit. Some of it seems just weird to me. Again, but I'm just, I don't know. I don't know how to flirt. I don't know how to do these things. I don't know how to read body language. And when people flirt with me, I just assume uh, that it's like friendly banter. It's just flirty, friendly banter, right? I don't know. Especially if it's a woman. If it's a guy, then it's a little different. Because guys don't just usually be flirty. Oh, fuck me up, fam. That was dating advice for men, Monica. No wonder you're confused now. Yes, maybe I should watch more dating advice videos now. Just like on my spare time. <laughs> Let me know, though, in the comment section if you want me to watch dating advice videos. If you have any links <laughs> to any primo, primo dato scenario. Fuck me up, oh. You gonna die alone now. You gonna die alone if you don't learn how to open up to other people, girl. It's also a problem I have. I don't know how to let people in to let them know the real me. I have hay fever. <laughs> there you go. Now you know something new about me that you didn't know before. I have hay fever today. Well, this has been very educational for me. Um... <laughs> Oh my god, want us to train and mentor you? Shit, I need to be trained. <laughs> I need training. Oh no, I need training. You know what I want? I just want to be able to date someone and just uh, not be a weirdo. <laughs> I just want to not be a weird person. I just don't want to be too weird, but I still want to be weird. <laughs> And I just want to be accepted for being weird. <laughs> Accept my weirdness, please. Let me be, just let me be comfortable. Let me be honest and weird and comfortable. That's all I want from someone. We can grow old eating tacos and watching really bad 90s TV together. Let's watch Fresh Prince Bella and eat tacos with Beach. <gasps> yes, <laughs> that's fucking everything. Let's eat tacos and watch cheesy bad TV. Yes. So yeah, if you have any uh, dating advice for me, you can leave it in the comments. Or if you just have any general advice on how to human, I would really appreciate it. <sighs> I feel worse though. I just feel bad that I cannot recognize when someone's flirting with me. It's, it's the real weird. I recognize when people are flirting with each other, but when it's happening to me, I just don't see it. I don't get it. You really have to spell it out for me. But anyway, I'm gonna go. I hope you enjoyed this. Shit like a scrapping. If you did, share this like a favorite. Links in the description to all kinds of things. My backup channel on another website. In case my YouTube gets shut down, which it probably will. It's all just a matter of time. <laughs> so sad. Twitter merch, all that jazz. Uh, yeah, subscribe. Bye.